Everyone, how are we doing? Um, it's been a while. Now, normally when you uh, haven't seen someone for a while, you normally say they've grown a great big beard. But uh, as you can see, my quarantine beard has been discarded. Um, the wife had decided that she really couldn't stand it. Um, retrospectively, she might have had a point. But uh, yeah, so I got rid of it on the basis that we're spending more time together now than ever before. So uh, living in a harmonious household is almost certainly a, a good idea. Um, hope you're all doing all right. Hope you're keeping safe. Hope you're keeping well. Hope you're keeping gamble free. Um, I just want to give you a bit of an update on a few things, really. And the primary one is, of course, the title of this video. And that was, yes, I had a gambling urge. And yes, I would say I was on the brink of gambling. Now, what happened? Um, I haven't been gambling now for what, eight, nine months, something like that. Probably longer than that, actually. Um, and uh, yeah, it's kind of, I've had very few urges. It's, it's never been far from my thoughts, because of course, once you're a gambler, you're always a gambler. And actually, I do still surround myself, um, not physically at the moment, of course, but uh, with people who do gamble. Um, and I interact a lot within the sort of the gambling community. So it's always sort of at the forefront of my mind a little bit. But um, I haven't really had any real drive, any real urge to, to gamble myself, which of course has been, been great. Um, but I did notice uh, the other day uh, a casino. Uh, an online casino advertised. Now, I won't say what it was, and I don't say where it was, but I thought, hmm, or more accurately, my uh, the gambling addict part of my brain, that subconscious part of my brain thought, hmm, I don't think I ever have an account with them. Now, as anyone who's watched my videos will know, um, I have basically been through almost every online casino there is, and I'm currently self-excluded from almost every online casino and almost every online casino group that there is, which is brilliant in times like this, because it safeguards you against that urge. You go and try and sign up for a casino, nope, you're already self-excluded, it's fantastic. But I saw this casino and the, the little addict in the back of my head said, I don't think you ever had an account there. Thought nothing of it, just thought, oh, that's, that's strange. A couple of nights later, um, I had a couple of drinks and I'm watching some crap on TV or YouTube or whatever. Um, let's face it, that's what we're doing a lot of at the moment, isn't it? And uh, yeah, that little gambling addict part of my brain piped up and said, well, you know what? Why don't I have a look at that casino? You know, you haven't gambled there before. You might be able to get an account. You might be able to just, just a quick 50 quid, you know, play some low stakes, just play on 20p, just a bit of fun. You know, kill some time. You've got loads of time to kill. Just kill a bit of time. And you know what I did? I signed up to that casino. But thankfully, even through a slightly drunken haze, and with this urge in the back of my mind, the common sense part of my brain thankfully took over. So I signed up to that casino, and I immediately self-excluded for the longest possible time, which I think was three years. I also took one step further, and I went to the big casino uh, forum, the one that lists all the casinos, I won't name it, and um, I found out what other casinos there were in that group, and I tried to sign up for accounts with them. Thankfully, I was already self-excluded, which shows a little modicum of uh, responsibility on behalf of this casino group. I was already self-excluded from those. So another tick in the box. Now, I'm a big, big advocate for GamStop, a big advocate for GamStop, because that stops you basically gambling on virtually any online casino. But I thought I was safe, because I'd self-excluded from basically every casino I could think of or heard of, and I've been in this game a fair while, unfortunately. Um, but I wasn't safe. So once again, if you are bored during this lockdown, quarantine, what the hell you want to call it, um, during this time of extended free time and boredom, then get GamStop in place or something similar, GamBan, look at the options, but GamStop I, I can wholeheartedly recommend, despite not being a, uh, despite not being a user myself. Uh, it was kind of ironic actually, just as I'm talking to you, a little YouTube notification's popped up to say that the Bandit has put a new video up, so um, yeah. I will come on to talk about streamers now, um, and uh, yeah. A little while ago, I made a video um, basically calling out a, a, not so much a streamer, but someone who makes YouTube videos on slots. And I said that this person had gone out of their way to try and capitalise on the self-isolation, on the boredom caused by being at home during the COVID-19 pandemic. Um, we had a bit of to and fro. Eventually, the, the video got taken down. And the guy released a statement on that big casino forum that we talk about. And it was kind of water under the bridge. Now, one of the streamers that I actually speak to and associate with, because I've put them down as actually quite a moral kind of guy. Um, and we go, always, let's face it, we're always going to disagree on this, right? So, um, you know, we all have our own opinions. Uh, and um, I think hopefully we can, we can respect ourselves or each other for, for our own opinions. But either way, this guy messaged me and said, look, have you seen what he's done? And he had gone on this moral tirade on this forum about how he'd stopped releasing videos, how he'd stopped 
and playing and playing for real because he said there was far more important things going on in the world and he couldn't look himself in the eye and you know he had to think about all the, the NHS workers working hard and all this all this moral bullshit and kind of calling out other people for, for potentially you know promoting their own casinos completely overlooking the fact that the two reasons he didn't make any more videos firstly is because he got called on it and uh, yeah his video got taken down removed struck whatever and also he said at the beginning of this um this period of isolation this period of being at home for an extended extended time that he wouldn't be making more videos anyway because he couldn't because his wife and kids and everything else were at home so he'd already said he wasn't going to be making any more videos and now he wants to put some moralistic slant on it and call out the other streamers now as I said before, me and you and you know everyone who's watching this video will have a slightly different opinion on casino affiliation and casino streamers. And I understand and I accept that it may not be the most moral way of making money, but at the moment it is at least legal and legitimate. So, you know, these people are, are not committing any crimes, even if you don't believe it's a particularly moral way of making money. But from what I have seen, and I will have to sort of tip my tip my cap to some of these people, you know. It's, although this is their, their income, I have never seen so much promotion of responsible gambling. You know, I saw tweets, and I'll, I'll name these guys because I think actually they have done something here. From the likes of Jimbo um, and Craig and Rock and Roller, um, Hideous, um, you know, Will, he, they've all tweeted, they've all mentioned in every one of their videos, they've talked about blocks. I've never seen blocks, like I say, promoted so much. So think what you like of these guys, but I think, you know, at the very least, they are... They're still going to be taking money off people, right? They're still going to be making money off people's gambling losses. I get that, and I understand that, and I understand that we have different opinions about that, and that's cool. But what they've all come out and said is that they don't want to make additional funds off the back of people with gambling problems and off the back of people's boredom. Should we give them a thumbs up for that? I don't know. But I, I can't help but feel that that's worthy of note. A um, couple more things very quickly. Um, a few people have asked me about... Um, the situation we're in, uh, about my opinions on this, my opinions on what the government are doing, and the opinions of the lockdown. Now, I will just say this. I do have my opinions. I have quite strong opinions about a lot of things. Um, and I would love to have an outlet. I'd love to be able to talk about them openly, and I'd love to be able to share those opinions with, with like-minded people. This is not the platform. Um, this is the platform for gambling talk, for you know talking about my gambling addiction and the problems associated with it. Um, so I won't I won't talk about it, but needless to say, yes, I do have reasonably strong opinions on on the situation we're currently in, how it's being handled, and uh, yeah, my my opinions on all of that sort of thing. Um, but most importantly, you know, I hope you guys are doing well. Um, as I said, um, this gambling uh, these gambling urges can strike anyone, anytime. You know, obviously I've done nine months, ten months. I don't I can't even bloody remember what it is now, but it's been a long time. But I'm quite clearly still very very susceptible to these urges. So whether you're a week in, whether you're 10 years in, you know, obviously if you're 10 years in, you're waste way ahead of me and you've probably already got these things in place. But if you have, or you haven't, sorry, got these anything in place at the moment, then get on GamStop. At the very least, exclude yourself from every form of gambling you're currently open to. And that at least buy you a bit of thinking time if, like it did to me, the urges strike. People will advise you as well. You know, during this time to uh, make sure you take your exercise. And I, I do recommend that on my uh, daily allocated walk as we speak. Um, try and keep yourself mentally healthy. People will advise you, say, make sure you eat well. Make sure that you don't drink excessively. Now, I won't lie, I've drunk more in the last week than almost any week um, this year. I'm glad I have been trying to cut down before this. Um, but I have drunk, I would say, possibly reasonably excessively over the last week or two. Um, and that's probably not ideal for your mental health. But don't beat yourself up too much about it, you know? Unless you actually have a real problem with alcohol, just maybe give yourself a little bit of leeway. Yes, it might not make you feel great in the long run, but if it gives you, a, a, you know, a little bit of something to look forward to at the end of the day, if it gives you a little bit of escapism from what's going on, then don't beat yourself up too much about it. But do be, do be aware of it, you know, and make sure it's not getting too, too out of control. Because, uh, yeah, obviously, you know, if you become addicted to one thing, I guess we can all become addicted to, to something else, can't we? But anyway, please take care of yourselves, stay safe, um, you know, stay gamble-free, whatever you do. Um, thanks so much for, for sticking with the channel, thanks to any new subscribers I've had. Um, I will try and uh, post a bit more often. Um, I've not really been, to be honest, in the frame of mind for it, and also because there's not a lot been going on, um, not a lot worth talking about. But um, 
yeah, I look forward to seeing you guys again soon anyway. Thanks for watching. Take it easy. Stay safe. All the best.